5-3 Angels until Kenry's Morales did this. You see Granderson was going back to second base to tag. Therefore, Granderson can't score from second. So it's 5-4, no one out in the ninth. Blake Parker's like, oh man, a lot of work. Teoscar Hernandez to right, is it deep enough? Cole Calhoun. Grandy's running. That's a strike, and Granderson's out. The Angels would hold on to win by a score of 5-4. to four. Harold Reynolds and Bill Ripken standing by in Studio 42. They were excited to talk about this play. Guys, what did you see uh, in terms of the base running decisions there in the ninth inning? Well, I saw a couple things, and I think the conversation stems. If we look at that play again, Kendrick Morales is up, second and third, mm -hmm. no outs, down two. So if we can see that one more time and yeah. we can talk over this thing as this plays out. The job of Curtis Granderson right here is to, without a doubt, make sure you get to third base. Now, if you look right here, the guy on third is not even on the bag yet. Right. because that's the position if he was at second, Grandy might be in off Actually, the I would even argue even further away because, yes. look, Toronto is one thing. We know the ball flies. But Toronto in center field or right center field that deep, Curtis, and Gr Curtis Granderson runs well enough that he is going to tag up to get to third base if, let's play this thing out a little bit more, because here we are off the base. And one thing I, I like about any hard hit ball in the outfield, if the guy on second, because he's the run that matters, Yes. The guy on third is going to walk Kill home. Score. So we're not even worried about that. And the key I think being no outs. Zero outs. Okay. So we're trying to get to third base with less than two. Yes. If there's one out, if the ball's caught. I think in this particular case, since Grandy watched it, and you said it earlier, Kendrick thought he popped it up a little bit. And maybe so did Grandy Man when he went back. Mm -hmm. But Grandy goes all the way back to second base, and he's watching to see if he catches it, then he goes. My point would be, Grandy runs well enough. If he's this far off a of second base, yep. and he sees it, then he can make the determination, okay, one, he's not going to catch it. I might do this and watch. And then if he takes one more step and he's going to catch it, Grandy runs well enough where he could come back here, tag up, he goes to third base and still gets there. Yes. And probably if he's this far off the base looking, Ball hits the wall, he's going to score. Scores. Then we have the tie game. Yeah. So that's one. And you take into account if it ricochets, if Trout plays it off the wall, Calhoun's coming yeah. over, all that, you're probably, gonna, you're absolutely right, going to score. But I, I like the point of getting here, seeing the play, and right. it gives you the leeway to break. Right. right. And, and if he gets held up at third, so be it, because he did the right thing, and yeah. that's one thing. Earlier in the game, this is one that I did not like, was – Mike Trout's up at home plate. There's man first and second. They're running on the pitch. 3-2 count, two outs. Watch this. Trout, base hit to the Grandy man. There's no play at home plate. Cole Calhoun's coming into third because guess what? Cole Calhoun runs way better than Maldonado does. And Cole Calhoun makes the third out of third base. And look at Maldonado. He's hugging and chugging. He ain't getting there. He's out. This run does not score, and that look right there, H, I wanted you to see, is Mike Trout saying, you know what, I don't even know if I want to play catch with Cole in between innings. I'm going to walk out to center, and if Cole yells, hey, Mike, sorry, dude, then I'm going to play catch with him. Yeah, but th that, that look says it all right and, there. And they're boys, too, so yeah, no doubt no about doubt. it. Yeah, and, and I, I thought what might have dicked him a little bit is when that ball bounced and Grandy jumped and right. got it. But once again, but even it's, still, it's the golden rule still to me. you got to let that run score. And don't make the and third out the third over there. Third. Don't do it. No, don't it's do it. It's all in front of you. But all right, so, awesome. I get it. So I don't know if we have it queued up, but let's go to the, to the uh, throw from Calhoun with Grandy tagging at third base. Now, I don't know if we have that play or not, but as the game progressed, here's the big play, the fly ball to right, and Granderson's on – Third base, this is now first and third, no outs. This will be out number one. I just think that's too close. Right. You got you got the whole order coming up. If Grandy stays put, all right, and you saw the runner tag up and go to second base. So let's say he makes that throw all the way in the air. It's now second and third. Here comes Donaldson. Here comes Smoke. And they might walk Donaldson then, but now it's one out bases juice and you're still in the game. And I, and I got Justin Smoke and, I understand and then Russell. And it, it still confuses me, and we're going to take a look at another base running gaff in the next block and talk about how many outs 
are being made on the bases, not a big fan no. of it.